Okay, so I decided to do this tattoo tag that one of the people I'm subscribed to did, and I think it's pretty cool because, like, I really love my tattoos and kind of like to show them off. So I guess I'll start out by showing you the pictures or whatever so I don't have to, like, keep stopping the video to show you the pictures. Just get it all out of the way. So here goes the pictures. So, the first question is, how many tattoos do you have? And I have six tattoos right now. I plan on getting more. Um, I really love tattoos. Um, it's just, especially if they're meaningful. And all of my tattoos are very meaningful. And so, I really love tattoos. Um, so, six is the answer to that question. Um, what is your favorite tattoo? My favorite tattoo, I think, out of all of them would be my bird um, the one right here on my chest or whatever. I think it's my favorite because it just means so much to me and I think it's the prettiest and all that. So yeah, that's definitely my favorite. Um, what is your first, or was your first tattoo? My first tattoo was the picture where it was the heart with wings and it's got the K in the middle. Um, I got that like a few days after I turned 18. Um, my husband paid for it. And it was just the most awesome birthday present ever. I actually drew it myself. Like, the basic outline I drew. Um, but, like, the feathers and the wings and all that, the tattoo artist added in. Um, but, like, the basic outline I drew when I was in college. Um, I was just sitting there bored and drew it out. And added the K for my husband. Um, so, yeah, that was my first tattoo. It was, it was an awesome experience. I, I'll never forget that. Like, it was totally cool. Um, what was your most painful tattoo? My most painful tattoo is the one where it's the ribbon and it says my hero. And that's like, I don't even know where to describe <laughs> it is, but it's like the front below my stomach, like where the underwear covers it up on the side. <laughs> I don't even know what to call that. Like, I think the tattoo artist called it the frontal hip area, but it's nowhere on my hip, so I don't even know. Anyway, yeah, that was the most painful, I guess, because that's like a tender area, and it, it's just delicate skin there, and, like, after I got that tattoo, it was horrible, because, like, wearing pants and stuff, rubbing against it, and, like, moving, and, ugh, it was awful, but, you know, I love that tattoo, so it was worth it. Uh, what is your most recent tattoo? My most recent tattoo is the butterfly. Um, and it's on my wrist, and, you know, I love that tattoo, but I hate how it was done, like, there's so many places where it's, like, messed up, like, that I need to get touched up, and that really bothers me, and I really need to go get that done, but, and when I have time, I forget about it, so whatever, I mean, I mean, I don't think tattoos should be perfect, I mean, but just the way it is, like, some things, I'll sit there and look at it, and I'm just like, dang, I wish, you know, I really need to get it touched up, and I got that, I think, almost, well, not quite a year now, but I got it done in summer, and it's January, so it's been a few months, so yeah. Uh, the last question is, what are your future tattoo plans? Um, let's see, I really like, um... I really want Okay, so my stupid memory card ran out of freaking space, so whatever. Um, the last question that I was answering was, uh, what are your future tattoo plans? And I want a few more things. I don't want to be, like, absolutely covered in tattoos, you know, but, you know, I want a few more. Um, the ones that I know that I absolutely want right now is I want to get a magnolia flower on my foot um, because I'm obsessed with magnolia flowers. I'm going to get it on my foot because I don't have a foot tattoo and I really want a foot tattoo. And I guess, I don't know, I have a meaning behind it. I think it would sound kind of like stupid and cheesy if I said it. But, I mean, whatever, who cares. I guess my meaning behind it would be like, you know, always remember where you came from. You know, the ground you walked on, you know. And I'm from the south, so magnolia trees are everywhere. And, you know, I just, I think that would just be special to me. 
The other one I really, really, really want to get uh, was inspired from my friend Jana. She has these stars that, like, start from her, like, shoulder, and they go all the way around her back, around her ribs, like, down into the front. Um, I know that, that's not, I'm not describing it very well, but anyway, um, I think it's really pretty, and I love how it's laid out, um, but she has stars, and I don't want stars, because I'm not going to copycat or anything, I just think that's silly. Mm, excuse me. But, um, I really want leaves, like autumn leaves, and I'll show you these stickers I got, um, these are them, so some leaves kind of like that, not necessarily those leaves, but, you know, like the, the burnt orange and dark reds and just the gold, I really love that about autumn, and that's my favorite time of the year, that's, I was born in fall time, um, so, you know, that's just, it's my favorite, and it'll be very meaningful to me. I'm not one of those people who's going to go out and get a tattoo just because I feel like getting a tattoo. And it's going to be on your body forever. You need to have something that means something to you. Like, one time I went to go get this tattoo. I think it was when I got my Libra symbol, my zodiac sign. And uh, there's this man in there, and he got this, like, it was an STP sign. I think it's for, like, a gas station or something. I don't know exactly what STP stands for. It was stupid. Like, are you kidding me? Like, who gets that? That's just, I don't know, I hate unmeaningful tattoos, and if anybody's watching this that has any of them, I'm sorry if I offend you, but I just think it's dumb, and that's my personal opinion. Anyway, off that rant, um, but yeah, as of now, those are like the only ones that I can think of that I absolutely can't live without, and that I really, really, really want. Um, I may get more when I have children, there's no telling, I don't know. I'll think of something, but like I said, I don't want to be absolutely covered, I just, you know, I just really like tattoos. Um, oh, and then also, like, I don't know if this would ha involve future tattoo plans, I guess it kind of would, but I, I doubt this will ever happen, but I really want to be tattooed by Kat Von D. I love her. I was obsessed when she was on Miami Ink, and then when she got her own show, the LA Ink or whatever, I was completely obsessed with that crap. I love her. She's just amazing. And when she does her portraits or whatever, I'm like, oh my god, it's just, and she's totally hot. That just, it's awesome. But yeah, I guess that's all for the tattoo tag, and it is awesome. I love tattoos and all that good stuff. So yeah, bye.